Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rune Stone and we're going to be going over some AI recreating cards, but we're going to do the Antiquities Edition today. So let's begin with Mishra's Workshop. Mishra's, sorry. Uh, this is probably the most expensive card in the set from I can gather, so we're going to have a little fun. We're going to open up. And okay, so we got a good start on this one. So it's getting pretty close to seeing what we got. Got like a little anvil on the right side with, is that a person? On the left? I can't tell. I don't even know. Is that like a gnome on the right side? Oh, right, well, we're almost there. We're about halfway down. So, okay. So we're creating a, something there. That's really cool. So it is a workshop, I guess. It looks like a, using his magical powers to create like a sword or something. Ah, yes. that got to be it. Okay. So there we go. That's uh, Mishra's workshop. Very good. All right, I'm already know I'm going to say this wrong. We're, we're about 25%. Okay, let's go. Looking close to the candle bearer candle bear of Thanos again. I already said, sorry, guys. I said that completely wrong. I only own a few of those, sadly. I don't own too many of those. I was hoping to, I think I only own seven. I don't know, anyway. All right, so I'm, yeah, not even close. It looks more like a castle or some kind of house with fire on top. Well, we didn't get right on this one. I guess AI is just not uh, doing very well on this uh, Thanos card. Well, there we go. Let's move on to the next one. Which we're going to give a transmute artifact a go. I feel like AI is not going to do well for these uh, antiquities cards. So it looks like obviously something is in the center with a bit of gray. I don't know what's going on. What is it thinking? Well, it does look like some kind of artifact that's transmuting. Is that with a nice glowing blue? We're almost at 75%, so there we go. Okay. Uh, is it in a mountain or an ice? It's very interesting. Well, this is an interesting take for AI doing transmute art attack. That is for sure. But uh, let's just move on to strip mine and see what we got. This one's got to be easy. Yeah, there we go. Some desert. There we go. Right. This one's got to work out. It's just it's too easy. Come on, strip mine. Show me the strip mine. Is there holes? Oh, there we go. We got uh, two little holes, not one. Looks like there's gray and there's something in the center, but all right, this is one of the best antiquities one. Well, it's only the third one. Best one so far that we've done. So this is go AI. All right, so I'm just gonna quite say uh, this is quite good. It's pretty close to the card. I'm really interested to see how far this can go. So let's move on to the next one. Well, we're gonna do Gaia's Avenger. It's a tree, a summon gaze avenger. So it's like a tree folk kind of creature. So I'm really curious to see how the AI is going to do this one. Does AI even know what tree folk are? <laughs> I like the card gaze avenger. That's really cool. Totally use the card if the opponent doesn't have any artifacts, but I like the card anyway, just because it says gaze avenger as a subtype. Oh, wow. That's really close. Good job, AI. That's actually very similar to gaze avenger. In fact, I really like that picture. All right, let's move on to the next one. That's pretty good. I like that one. We got Colossus of Sardia next. All right, what are we going to do? All right, we got some kind of metal figure in the center. What is it thinking? Man, I've always wanted this card. I actually never got this card in real life. I was really hoping to do it one time. I want to spend a couple thousand dollars on one card or whatever it's worth. All right, so we got the eyes. So it does... So, <laughs> sort of looks similar. Is that a person in the bottom right corner? Is it in the water? All right, so we're almost done creating the AI. It's done. So there we go. Not pretty close to the card, I guess, would be the best way. But we're going to end this with uh, Obelisk of Undoing because this is one of my favorite art cards. It's only worth like, I think, 10 bucks or anything. So I'm really curious to see what AI is going to create for this. I have a feeling it won't. But again, this is one of my favorite picture cards in the Antiquity series. So we're going to end it off. So that doesn't look anything like it. So we'll just uh, say, hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a great night. It looks like it didn't do too well with the Obelisk of Undoing. And we'll just create some more videos on what AI can create. And I hope you guys have a good day and a good evening.